Hello everyone, in this lecture we will discuss standard and canonical forms of Boolean functions. Now first the standard form. In this form, the terms that form Boolean functions may contain any number of literals. As I already told you, x is one literal, similarly x dash is one literal. For another variable, you can similarly write for y, if you write y, y dash, all these are one literals. So there are two types of standard forms. One is sum of products. Sum means for two variables x plus y, this is the sum and product means x dot y or simply x y. So this is the product and this is the sum. Now the sum of product means we have to find the uh, product terms. Product term may contain one or more literals and finally we have to write the sum of all these products. So if a function is written in this way, that is sum of product forms. Look at this example here. This, these terms, three terms are there and these terms are product terms. In standard form, it may be possible that there is one liter only and more than one literals may be possible. So here one literal is there, two literals are there, this is one literal. So all these are product terms and finally written in the as a sum of all these product terms. That's why it is in sum of product form. Product of sum forms. In this uh, form, we have to write the product of sum terms. Sum terms means written look at this. This example in this example x plus y this is the sum containing two literals here this is only one literal here two literals are there. So finally this is the product of all these three terms. So this is uh, this function is expressed as a product of sum. Another uh, again I am saying that look at this either it is sum of product or product of sum. If you are talking about sum of product, then it is n terms may contain one or more literals. Similarly, product of sum, this sum terms like this one or this one may contain one or more than one literals. So there is no restriction. Any expression may be in standard form or may not be in standard form. If you look at this expression, this is not in any of the standard form. Now, <coughs> canonical form or normal form. For given n input variables, you have uh, you can write a number of logical expressions because you can uh, use complemented form or simple ordinary form. Then you can write infinite number of logical expressions. And many of these logical expressions are equivalent. Equivalent means both have the same truth table for the uh, all possible combination of truth values. That is, they produce the same result for the same inputs. Now, what is the need of canonical form or normal form? Canonical form is a unique. Remember this, this is unique for each Boolean function. Hence, it is useful in identification of equivalent logical expressions. Those have same canonical form. Two forms are there. One is sum of min terms and another is product of max terms. Now, first we will define min terms and max terms. Now, min terms. Let us consider two variables x and y and combine with them end operation. For combination, we are taking all these possibilities of these two uh, variables x. That is x, x dash, y and y dash. So, four literals are possible for two variables x and y. So, if we combine using and, then we get these four terms. One is xy, x dash y, xy dash and x dash y dash. So, these four terms are called min terms for two variables x and y. Similarly, for three variables x, y and z, you will have eight such min terms. Max terms, now do the same thing but combine them with OR operation. So you will get these four terms x plus y, x dash plus y, x plus y dash and x dash plus y dash. So these are max terms for two variables x and y. Similarly, if you write the max term for three variables, then you will have eight max terms. In general, if you have n variables, then you will have two raised power n min terms or max terms. Now for three variables, look at this, how can you write the max term and min terms. For three variables, eight combinations of truth values will be there. Now for writing min terms, <coughs> if x is 1, then you will write x. If it is 0, then you will write x. Similarly, you can write for y and z and you will uh, write the end of all these variables. So the min term corresponding to x0, y0, z0, this will be x dash, y dash, z dash write the max term just to the opposite thing if it is uh, if it is 1 then write x dash if it is 0 then write x so look at this and 
uh, you have to write the sum of all these literals for x0, y0 and z0. Look at this. It is 0, then you have written x. It is 0, then you have written y. Z is 0, then you have written z. And finally, you have uh, find the sum of all these terms. So, this is the max term. So, now another thing x dash y dash look at this x dash y dash z dash so if you find the complement of this this complement will be x dash dash plus y dash dash plus z dash dash using de morgan's law so this is x plus y plus z it means its complement is the complement of this min term is the max term similarly you can write the max term and min term corresponding to all these values so you can designate this min terms with a small m uh, with suffix 0, 1, 2, 7 and similarly max term with capital M up to M7. So this is the way to write the max term and min term for three variables. Now a boolean function expressed in the form of sum of min terms or product of max terms is said to be in canonical form or normal form. Now look at this how can we uh, express a given expression in these normal forms. First, sum of min terms. Now we have to express this function x f1 xz plus x dash y h sum of min terms. Now look at this in uh, sum of min terms. Sum of min terms for three variables x, y, z three variables are there. So each min term will contain three literals. Now look at this in this x, z y is missing here x dash y x and y are there but z is missing so what we have to do x z x z can be written as x z into 1 dot 1 you can write it because x you know x dot 1 this equal to x so you can write x z equal to x z 1 so x you can write it further you can write it 1 the missing term is y so write it y plus y dash so look at this we have written this missing term here in the form of y plus y dash because the expression will not change if you write in this way as I have told you here. Similarly, x dash y, you can write the missing term here z plus z dash. Now use the distributive law. You will get x z y plus x z y dash, x dash y z plus x dash y z dash. Now look at this. All these are min terms and we have written the sum of all these min terms. So this expression is now in this form is sum of min terms. Sometimes it is not easy to express uh, a given function in sum of, in the form of sum of min terms without using truth table. From truth table it is very easy. Now look at this. How can we write using truth table? So first make the truth table of this function f x z plus x dash y. So this is the truth table. Now to write this uh, expression in sum of min terms identify 1 where it is 1. So look at this is four places it is one. Now write the corresponding min term. Corresponding min term means look at this it is zero you will write corresponding min term means x dash it is y so you will write y it is zero you will write z dash. Similarly for second one this is zero you will write x dash this is y and z. Now for this one first second and third for this one you will write this x is 1 you will write x this is 0 you will write y dash and this is 1 you will write z and similarly fourth one you will write x y and z so these are min term corresponding to the values uh, 1 of f now you have to write the sum of all these min terms so if you write the sum of all these min terms then you will get the required form that is sum of min terms if you look at this this answer is same as this one so this is the way to utilize the truth table for writing sum of min terms similarly next go to product of max terms now look at this if we have to express this function as a product of max terms then what we have to do first look at it this is here this is a product this is the product and this is the sum first utilize distributive law just assume this one x z is a one variable so you know x plus y z if we apply the distributive law x plus y z then we write it x plus y and x plus 
z so assume this xz as a single variable so apply the distributive law then you will get xz plus x dash and xz plus y so first do this thing apply the distributive law then now look at this this is a sum of two uh, terms this is a sum of two terms now further uh, apply the distributive law in this you will get x plus x dash and z plus x dash here again do the same thing apply the distributive law you will get x plus y and z plus y so in this way now we have this is the product of some terms now x plus x as you know this is 1 so you can write it uh, and 1 into uh, an x equal to x so you can eliminate this x plus x as remain terms are there z plus x as x plus y z plus y so up to this point we have only the product of sums but not product of max terms these are not max terms because one variable is missing from there in each max term all three variables should be there so y is missing from here z is missing from here and x is missing from here so uh, we will convert these one by one z plus x days you can write it z plus x days plus y plus y days because you know x plus y zero this equal to x so y y days you can write it y y days y y days equal to you know this is zero y y days okay this is zero so z plus how we have written it z plus x dash you can write it z plus x dash plus 0 and further you can write it z plus x dash and write the missing term in this form y y dash okay so this is written as in this way now consider this as a single uh, variable then apply the distributive law then you will get z plus x dash plus y and z plus x dash plus y dash now look at this this is written in as a product of max term similarly do the same thing here write the missing term z z dash and uh, apply the distributive law and further do the same thing for z plus y you will get these terms okay now you have to find the product of because you have to put these values here now look at this how many terms are same x plus y plus z this is x plus y plus z these are same so x you know x into x this equal to x so you have uh, to need to write only once similarly look at this z plus x dash plus y z plus x dash plus y so this is same as this one so two terms are same and these two terms are different so write the combine all these terms write as a product of all these max terms then you will get this expression and this is the required so this is this was the way to find the product of maximum without using truth table so now look at this how can we use truth table to find this product of max terms now here what we have to do here for product of max term this truth table first make the truth table and find the value zero of the function f okay now write the max term corresponding sorry for not for this one for this one this one and write the corresponding max terms okay now to write the corresponding max term look at this if it is 0 this is x plus y plus z because if it is for max term if it is 0 then we write x it is 1 then we write x days for second one this is x plus y plus z dash for this one this is 1 0 0 1 0 0 means is x dash plus y plus z for this one we write x dash plus y dash plus z this is 1 1 0 so for 1 1 it is x dash 1 it is y dash and for 0 it is so these are the max term corresponding to the values 0 of f. Now you have to find the product of all these terms. So if you write this x plus y plus z, x plus y plus z dash, x dash plus y plus z, x dash plus y dash plus z. So this is the required product of max terms. If you look at this, this is the same as 
this expression so you have both the ways either you can write without yeah, you can uh, uh, you you can use the truth table or you can use uh, this method this method in which we have not used the truth table but we have used in usual way simplification uh, we have done simple uh, used laws of boonian algebra to reduce a given function in product of max terms so i hope that you got the concept and now you can find you can write the standard form and the normal form or canonical form of any given 